Hello everyone, Mr. Fungi64 here, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, last time we explored New Londo ruins, uh, and uh, unflooded the city for future reference, and got the uh, extra large ember, which off screen I got enough um, titanite to get myself a maxed out Zweihander, plus 15. Doesn't get much higher than that. Uh, in today's episode, I want, there's a certain ring I want to try and get before moving on to more boss fights. Um, and I think I know where it is. Uh, unfortunately there's no warp to... Anywhere too close, I don't think. So we may have to just walk there. Which works. Um, the ring in question. Uh, well, you'll see. Let's just head to it. Um, brain, please. Uh, and this gives us a chance to, you know... Whew, that's good damage. Hey! Um, gives, gives me a chance to just, you know, chat. Chat for a bit. And if I have a hard time finding it, then I can just, I can always, I can always, uh, just pause the old recording until I find it. Whoa. There we go. Uh, it's probably not worth pillaging. Uh, is this the way the that I want to get there? I mean, might as well. I'm take the normal, normal way. Um, it's a round, undead bird somewhere. Um, actually, the other. The other entrance that we've unlocked is probably closer to what we're looking for. But I'm honestly not too sure where it is. Um, but that being said... Uh, right. I saw... <laughs> uh, I've known about this for a while now, but I've never seen one in person. I saw a Cybertruck today. Which, and I don't... I don't care if you I like, I don't mind if you like it or not. If you do like it, that's fine. But personally, I think Cybertrucks, the, the Cybertruck is probably the goofiest looking car of all time. Uh, I think it's, it's around here-ish, maybe. Um, but it's, and seeing it in person really, really, uh, strengthens that that belief for those who don't know what a cyber truck looks like it somehow manages to look like it crawled straight out of the PS1 in terms of how it looks it's blocky it just doesn't look natural I mean it's not it's a car but you know what I mean it doesn't look right once again if you like it or even own one more power to you I suppose I just think <laughs> it's so hysterical. Um, no, this is not right. I think I think we're close. I can feel it. I mean, at least at least Undead Bird has pretty much just become a cakewalk at this rate. Still shouldn't get too greedy, you know. But like case in point, there's still Black Knights roaming around. I might try and take you out. Hey. Not you. Alright. Can I sneak up on you? Give me a fresh, meaty backstab. Nope. Oh, but I don't even need to. Two hits and you're done. Oh, well, a chunk. That would have been nice. I had to grind the Dark Wraith enemies in New Londo Ruins for Titanite Chunks, which didn't take too long, gladly, because we have the Gold Serpent Ring, which... Do I still have that equipped? 
No, I, I did unequip it. Nice. Uh, and the uh, symbol of avarice, which is the mimic head, which slowly drains health but really increases our item discovery, which is nice. Uh, where? But cyber trucks, right? It's just. I mean, come on, man. They look so. So bad. I think this is it. Is this the tower? I think at the bottom of this tower is. Got ourselves a strong opponent. Or. Oh, well, we're not at the bottom yet. I think this is the tower. Yay, here he is. Havel. Havel the Rock. Wielding some of the strongest equipment. In Dark Souls right here. We have his armor, actually. Ooh, we did, we did meaty dan. Ooh, actually, he's already dead. Three strong attacks, huh? Although if we got hit by that dragon's tooth of his, it would have hurt big time. But Havel's ring, plus the mask of the father we're wearing, plus the g favor and protection ring, and I know this is seen as probably one of the best combinations of rings, if not the best. I mean, the favor protection ring, yes, but the Havel's ring, I know there's some... Con it's depending depends on what build you're going for. I think this should take us to the Darkroot Basin, which, fittingly enough, is where I want to go next. Ah, neat. Well, convenient. But now, our equip load should be a lot higher, so I should be able to equip some armor. So give me a sec. I'm going to see what I can cook with. Let's see how much better our defense can get. Not too shabby, if I say so myself. We're rocking the Channeler fit, plus the mask, of course. Because without the mask, we wouldn't be able to rock the Channeler fit. And no gloves still. Even the lightest pair, we still roll a bit too slow for my liking. Now i got to figure out where I am. In the oh, I know where I am. It's perfect. <clears throat> Because, okay, that went well. Um, we're demolishing these golems. That's a crystal, that's a golden golem, right? No, that's blue, okay. Normal golem, which means one heavy attack is all we need. Bit more defense. Not too sure how much we're rocking in comparison, but it's more. Trust you me. And I believe this is as good as it gets. Blue Titanite Chunk. Now, this may be the dumbest thing I do, but we're about to enter the DLC. There's three bosses left in the base game, and sure, I could take care of the four kings and the one boss we still need to fight before that, but not the final boss, because unlike future installments of this game series, we beat the final boss, we uh, instantly start New Game Plus, and that is not something I want to deal with. Hello? Sure. All right. Beautiful. Because we had the broken pendant and we saved Dusk a few episodes back. So we should be able to access it. If not, I'll troubleshoot it because we're going here. I want to go here next. That's why I really wanted to get a plus 15 weapon because the DLC bosses, all four of them are tough. Yep, there it is. You see that? There's a bit of a bit of a rift that's appeared. Let's uh let's investigate it, shall we? Ugh. Trudging through water is such a slog. Examine. Just one of those days. Big ol' hand comes out of the rift, and you're suddenly. Sud. Well, suddenly. in a different place. Sanctuary Garden. Let's rest up. Alright. 
Welcome to the DLC, which takes place in the past. So not only were we put somewhere else, we're also transported to the past and in front of the next boss. Sanctuary Guardian. An absolute beast of a boss fight. Oh! Fast. Fast is the name of the game. But we do meaty damage. Look at that. If I play my cards right, shouldn't take too long. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're a little... Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Alright, that's fine, though. That's fine. It's thrashing. Get it. I should have I should have light attacked. Cause even our light attack does a lot of damage. He's got machine gun lightning bolts. Alright. Come on, land. He's got range. Range for days. So much lightning. Drink. They don't stay still long. But that's the Sanctuary Guardian. Woo! First try. And the Guardian Soul. Nice. Humanity. It only gets harder from here, folks. But a good bounty. I think we'll do just fine. But the, all the bosses here are tricky, and fast, and full of resistances. So the pyromancy thing still ain't still ain't looking too good for us. But eh, I try. Uh. Ula Seal Sanctuary. Dusk mentioned Ula Seal. Well, we can rest here. How many how many humanities do I have? I might want to think about kindling this one just once, but. Because I'm a little concerned. Five? Mm, I have to use two humanities. Because I'm not human, right? Yes. Sometimes bosses will make a human for some reason. Uh, so I just want to check. At least I think that's happened before. I could be wrong. Who knows? Um, i am also been thinking about popping all the boss souls and souls by this point. Because we're not going to get it. We're not going to use any of them. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna do that. Go on a leveling spree. And I'll be right back. Well, we gained a good deal of levels and got up to 130,000 souls, just about. Just shy of it. Uh, we now have 36 strength. We had, I have an extra attunement slot, and as you can see, I've changed around some... <clears throat> some, uh... Spells. Uh, and we have enough faith to join the Sunlight Covenant just because, just for fun, uh, by the end of it. Neat. Hello. Well, look at this one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness, but Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Yes. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary, something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost. For I am one with the sorceries of all the seal. Neat. What do you have? Repair powder, gold pine resin, hidden weapon, uh, hidden weapon, hidden body, cast light, repair, chameleon. Fun spells, honestly. Uh, if we were doing intelligence, like chameleons, just fun. Cast light's the only one that's just kind of eh. Helps more in future games, but still not really. But it's, it's fun. Fun stuff. Ulusil Catalyst. Neat. Won't be buying any of that. Maybe Gold Pine Resin, if anything. But probably not. What else you got? Thou shalt see further on. <clears throat> An abyss was begat of the ancient beast. 
and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysses. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Hmm. Thou shalt see for an abyss with no right. without indeed. Well, thanks, Elizabeth. May the flames guide thee. Uh, something I only recently realized. Uh, her name's Elizabeth, and she's a mushroom. And there are actual mushrooms called Elizabeth's mushrooms. Just fine. It's a neat, n nice little touch by them to have a fitting, uh, fitting name for a mushroom. Mushroom lady. Uh, and this place may look a little familiar. I mentioned we're in the past. This is the, uh... Well, it's the Royal Wood now, but... In present time, in Dark Souls, it's, uh... Excuse me. Uh, it's the... Dark Root Basin and Garden. I guess Garden? Could this be the... I don't know. It's either the Garden or the Basin. It's the Dark Root area, but... Less dark and more scarecrow creatures. You see? That's a bit of proof the stone soldiers are still here. Well, I say still here. They're here now. I. Game? Oh! Careful now. Right, they do that. I forgot they when they pull the weapon back out. Alright. Before he gets a chance. Yeah, they got. They got big old hammers though. Set of swords. If anything, they downgraded in the future, but eh. I'm not complaining. That makes Dark Root Garden a bit easier to understand. And these scarecrow guys are neat. I like them. Uh, I forget if you can get the pitchfork in Dark Souls 1. I know you can get a pitchfork in later games. Uh, oh, purple moss. I don't know how helpful that'll be for the rest of our playthrough. I don't know how prevalent poison's gonna be. But, we'll find out. I'm just here to explore the past, you know? There's plenty of... Plenty of these... F I call them scarecrows, but I honestly don't know what they're called. I mean, they kind of... I mean, they're made of... Okay, alright, alright. You forced my hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a shield against you guys now. Instead of brute... I can't just brute force it. I may have... I may have a... <laughs> fell over. That's an attack you can do with the pitchfork. It's just a fun weapon. Not a... I don't think it's that good, but it's fun. Um, but anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm not sure if they're scarecrows, but they give me scarecrow vibes. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Alright. Oh, uh, it's an ambush. It's an ambush. Oh, it's an ambush! Alright. Welcome to the DLC. Uh, at least there's a bonfire before and after the Sanctuary Guardian. And I say that uh, because I believe if we were to go back there, there would just be a normal Sanctuary Guardian there. It wouldn't have a boss health bar, but it's still essentially a boss you can rematch to your heart's content. And in later New Game Pluses, there will be two of them. <laughs> that's, I'm sure that's fun. I've never, I never really, I've never done a full New Game Plus of this game. I never touched the DLC, that's for, that's for sure, I'll keep the shield. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be exploring the DLC, I'm having a, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this. Uh, as to the reason I'm doing this, um, <clears throat> that'll become apparent, uh, in the future. Whoa. Nice. Pitchfork? Moss. Still not sure, but in case there is a chance, I, I'm always going to pick up items when they're dropped from these guys. Uh, but th this this is a good DLC game. I, I don't know if... I'm trying to... I mean, mileage may vary, but I feel like throughout the Dark Souls trilogy, since I can't really speak on the other FromSoft titles, like I haven't finished Elden Ring, and I haven't touched... I don't own any of the other ones. I mean, I played like 
for a few minutes in Demon Souls. I don't even know if Demon Souls had DLC. I don't think it did, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> I want my souls back. I mean, it wasn't too many souls, but I'm I'm prepared this time. Let me try something. <clears throat> Iron flesh, which means we move slow, but our defense is higher, which gives us time to do this. Aha! Revenge. Although there's still some of them alive, and we're going to be moving slow for a while, but it's fine. Bloodied moss. Not the most useful. It stops bleed. It'd be more useful in Dark Souls 3, since there are certain bleed... Uh, what was I saying? Right. I like all the DLCs between the Dark Souls trilogy. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to let you... Uh... Okay, you didn't get it stuck. Neat. Oh, bad timing. No. <laughs> All right. Take the hit. It's fine. We did more damage to him than he did to us, I think. There we go. Pretty good. Um, there's a few iffy parts, especially in Dark Souls 2, which is kind of... I guess the the black sheep of the game. I feel like you either like it or you don't. I like Dark Souls 2. I think it brings some interesting stuff to the table. It's not the most memorable. Oh, hello. Ooh. Cool. Such a cool moment. There was a moment like that earlier in the game, but... That dragon looks cooler. And that dragon... We'll, we'll see again one day. Uh... A little pathway here, but no, I like Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2, uh, and I'll definitely it'll be Let's Play one day. But oh, I thought that was death. I'm glad it wasn't. Okay. Ooh. See all that inky blackness? That's the abyss crawling out of the earth that Elizabeth mentioned. It's no good, the abyss, but not exactly. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, bleed. Hit me. Oh. Oh, blood moss isn't that useful. Actually gets bled. Stop. Yeah, alright. Take that. Jeez. Unfortunately, the shears you can't get. I do know that much. You can't get the shears in any game. Uh, but yeah, as, as I was saying about Dark Souls 2. Uh, it'll be Let's Played one day, but I like to give a decent-sized break between franchises, like a game that has multiple franchises. Although, speaking of which, some of the games that I've played, uh, it's about time for them to come back. I mean, I won't play them as soon as it's been enough time, but I mean, I'll definitely, uh, it's definitely on the table as soon as possible. There are so many games I want to play for this channel, and I will play for this channel. It's all all in due time, though. As of now, I'm sticking to just one game at a time, but perhaps one day... Hey, gold coin. Perhaps one day I might do multiple games at a time and upload them, like, side... Not side by side, but, like, oops. Uh, upload them, like, upload one one day and alternate. That's the word I was looking for. Snip. Snip at me, scissor man. Thank you. Yeah, not too bad. I'm glad I came prepared. I'm sure I will regret that statement in due time. But, as for now, I don't. Oh, two stone giants. Surprised that gave that to me. I don't like it. Oh, pitchfork man. Oh, it's not looking good. Uh oh, I've backed myself to the edge. Let's run. All right, let's let's go this way. This is the way I want to go. There we go. Oh no, I didn't get it. Back away. Ugh. There we go. No stone man. I'm I'm out. I'm out. Oh, the the lunge. No, I'm not backing down. I ain't gonna back down yet. Come on. Okay. 
Now the big guys are going to be trouble. Ah. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Ooh. Ah, man. They have more range than I... Maybe it's just by depth perception. It just feels like they have more range. I didn't even try. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a good punish. Yeah. All right. That was just... Oh... I didn't. I knew we had to be getting close to a cliff, but I didn't think we. Were, I thought I had a bit more time. Ah, well. Um. But I think, I think that's a good enough introduction to the DLC. So next time, on Dark Souls, we will continue to explore the past. And try and save Princess Dusk uh, from the, quote, primeval human uh, who we'll meet later. And I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, but that's another time. Until then, remember to stay positive, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.